right guys here we are now we've drew the 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 the, the, the what the front view the way as is given you understand so this is at an angle of 45 remember 45 degrees we were told right from the question so remember the question was like uh, 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 1.2 draw the line of penetration you understand so the line of penetration is the one that is supposed to be there so once you are here your second step that you have to do now Draw the auxiliary of the cylindrical pipe. Draw the auxiliary of the cylindrical pipe. How? Like this. This was diameter 90, isn't it? Was diameter 90, but you're using a reduction scale. So 90 divided by 2, of which is what we did here. What, what we did here, we're supposed to do it up there now. So you can just come back to record what you did here. Or you just say 90. You just say 90, 90, let me see, 90 divided by 2. You are getting how much? You are getting 45. 45 divided by 2. Remember, the first two is the what is the one from the scale, and then the second one is the one that will give you radius. You understand? So you come, you do what you did here, yeah? but now you're doing it way, somewhere here. Yeah? As long as it's 20 millimeters away from your front view, it can be 30 as long as it's something above 20. Because the law of orthographic projection, it says space any view from the other one uh, far away from each other. We're using what 20 millimeter. You understand? So I can say this is my 20. So which means. The other part or, or the circumference mustn't be somewhere here, you understand? So I can put it somewhere here as long as from here till from here till where um uh, uh, the, the the circumference of the cycle it's it's above 20 millimeter. So now I can draw, let me re-record it like this, which means I was placing my compass here. Yes, now I come and put it along the center line. Along the center line. Along then you draw it faint. You draw it faint. Then where we're you placing your compass, remember this center line is at a line of 45. So the other center line is supposed to be like this. So that they are perpendicular to each other. You understand? You draw a center line like this. You understand so you must divide it divide the circle into 12 equal part come place your compass here it's up to you whether you start here or here or there it is up to you mean i decide to start here place it here further extend it to the center come strike an arc here and also strike an arc here come to this one all the centers you understand strike an arc here strike an arc here come to this one you must be accurate strike an arc here you see now I'm, I'm i'm using the different method of dividing the circle into 12 equal part i'm no longer using a, a set square but i'm using a a, a a a drawing compass so now this one will join with this one faint this one will all of them they must pass point oh all of them they must pass point where your centers are perpendicular to each other this one with this one come this one it will be with this one you understand the last one this one it will be with this one so we've drew the auxiliary of, it, of the cylindrical pipe was these are two pipes which is the conical and the cylindrical remember so the question was like get the line of penetration so that is why we, we are drawing this you understand come back to what to your top view if we decided to, to put the zero here if we decided to put a zero here that goes that goes which means again here 
it has to be zero here. So I must have a zero here, not there, not there, not there. Why? Because of the zero of my top view is here. Because a zero, uh, once I'm, I'm now uh, 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 getting the line of penetration here, it must collide with the zero. A one with a one, a two with a two, you understand. So let's do that. So now I'll decide to put my zero here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. You understand? So, so you take these lines faint, straight. You take them. A one is gonna be in the same line with eleven. A two, same line with ten, straight. A, a, a three and the nine is already there. Four, you take them faint down down to your to your uh, passing your what to passing your front view remember on this part we, we took them but once they touch the bottom part of your front view they were directed to what to your apex point to your apex point you remember so but these ones it, they will be just going straight down right let's do that taking them how we don't just take them using a 30 millimeter ruler you take them using the, uh, because they must be parallel to what to your center line the way you drew your center line the way you drew this line so it's the same way you're going to take so we drew this line using this uh, uh, ruler a uh, 45 uh, degrees so we will be taking them using the very same 45 degrees so let's do that Start with what? With six. It's already there. Five and seven. Like this. And four is going to be in the same line with what? With eight. Take them down faint. And two, three and the nine is already there, which is the center line. Then two and the ten go down. One and eleven go down. And then 12 in the zero is already there. So let's get to the line of penetration now. Check this. So a, a point, point, a, point a zero of my top view must intersect with the point zero of my auxiliary view. Point zero of the top view, remember this is, is for the cone one, but this one is for the cylindrical one. You understand? So check this. There it goes. From there, touch the bottom part of your front view. It was directed to your apex point. You understand? So this one is just going down. So, which means a zero and a zero is giving me a point there. You understand? Giving me a point there. Check. One. There it goes. There it goes. One and the one. Did I took it? No, I didn't took it. Which means I must take this one to apex point. Take this one to apex point. Let's do that. Now, taking this point using a 30 millimeter ruler, directing it to my apex point faint like this, and then which is the point of 1 and 11 on my top view. So that goes from here. Take this one. Faint. 3 and the 9 is already there. Then 4 and, and 8. Apex point faint. You understand then uh, five and seven so let let the line of penetration come out for itself so we've just gotten the what point zero there so let's get point one point one so point one right from the top view that goes from there it goes to what to your apex point colliding with what with the auxiliary point of the cylindrical there it goes so which means where they are colliding is giving me a point i've got a point there and remember this point they must be plotted they must be plotted so a two there it goes there it goes colliding with what with the two which means two from the top view which means i'm having a point here you understand a three which is the center line there it goes down and colliding with the three of the uh, top view of the cone. So there it goes. I'm having a point there, which is the center. Four from the auxiliary of the cylindrical. There it goes. 
colliding with what? With this one. From there, it goes to, which means, to your apex, which means, there it goes. I've got a point here. You understand? So, 5, there it goes down. Colliding with the what? There it goes from the apex point. I'm having a point here. Then, point 6, which is the last one. There it goes from there, which means I've got a point here. You understand? So now join them through a, 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 a free hand. If you are having a flex curve, you can use a flex curve. If you don't have, you can have them free hand. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. So this is the line of penetration. This is the line of penetration. How did you do God? Let me repeat that. So we had to draw the, 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 the top view of the cone. Because the question was like, from here till here is diameter. You understand? So we don't draw diameter as a straight line. We don't draw. This is this symbol in engineering drawing or, or, or PSSD drawing or boiler. Uh, uh, actually, in drawing, it's a symbol of diameter. You understand i'm trying to say i'm trying to emphasize that we don't draw diameter as a straight line to say oh from here till here is 150 when you draw it as a straight line you are wrong so you must draw it as a diameter you understand so from there we had to divide we had to divide the circle into 12 equal parts you know in 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 in, in boiler maker drawing once you see a circle you must divide that circle into 12 equal parts so again we came to have the auxiliary of the cylindrical pipe because we were having two pipes which is the conical pipe and the cylindrical pipe so we had to divide it into 12 equal parts as well. Then from there, so the points of your or, or top view of the conical uh, 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 pipe, uh, 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 we took them up, up until they touched the bottom part of your front view. Because this is the front view, isn't it? So they were directed up to your apex to, to form a, what, a cone, remember, isn't it? Then from there, what happened? From there what happened so uh, uh, we collided a zero of the auxiliary cylindrical and the zero of the conical and the one and the one uh, and the one of the cylindrical pipe and the one of the conical so the fact of the matter is that the lines of the cylindrical they are not changing direction they are just go coming straight straight but the one of the conical, once they touch, they are directed. So that's how we got the point. Which means I can say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So remember this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It would be just the repetition as much as we understand. Uguti, 5 is in the same line with 7. And 4 is in the same line with 8. You understand? So that's how we get a line of penetration. But then remember, we have an answer, which we, which means we have just answer what a uh, a uh, one point three. Did we answer? Uh, no, sorry, we just answer one point two. We've answered one point one. We've answered one point two. Now let's answer one point three. Draw the the pattern of the plate to manufacture the cone. And the XX, check where XX is a joint. So the XX is here, which means it's here. Yeah, that's where they are cutting it. That's where they are cutting it. So let's go. So I've just gotten, I've just placed my compass here further extended to this point. Then I strike an arc faint, a uh, faint like this. So let me extend this faint line, sorry, this uh, center line. Now I'm developing a, a, 
uh, 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 the coon. So I'll decide to make this point six, so that my development is going to be like this. You understand? So now I want to get the length of my development. So remember, how do you get the length of your development? You're going to use this formula. L stands for length is equals to pi diameter divided by 12. So this 12 is actually this one. This 12. So you're going to say L is equals to pi. The D is the diameter of the, your cylindrical, uh, uh, sorry, not cylindrical, because we are not developing the cylindrical pipe, but we are developing what? The conical one. So we've got two diameters. So you have to be very careful. The end, again, remember the scale. Remember the scale. So a uh, 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 diameter, what was the diameter? If you have forgotten it, come back. To say what was the diameter is 75 so you substitute it to 75 remember the 75 is already converted to what to the scale so then you come then you come you put it the way as you see it let me put my camera like this and then a fraction a bracket a, a, a no where is pi there you go put brackets a can function put the value of pi the way as it is and then a um, uh, 75 close bracket come to the bottom 12 is equals to then simplify it we are getting 19.634 so write it the answer is 19.6349 so you must say therefore use 20 millimeter use 20 millimeter so how so you come you take your drawing compass you open it to 20 millimeter you open it to 20 millimeter this is my 20 millimeter so you come to your development say six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. You understand? 6, 5, eh? 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You understand? So now you can come to say, this is my zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, then back to zero, zero. Why? Because of the, that's where they are separating it, isn't it? Do you still remember how did you go to this line? We place our compass at an apex point, further extend to the bottom part. So that's how we got that one. So come back again, place it here. To apex point again further extended to the xx the second one so draw a faint line that's gonna be like this again you draw it faint isn't it like this are we together then your second step that you can do again so now the zero directed to your apex point faint this here we go draw them faint one to your apex point then two apex point three four Remember, in drawing, we answer using lines. So these lines, they must be there. They must be there. Five, six is already there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 
which is the zero one. You understand? So come back again here. Yeah? Take your T square. Take your T square. We've gotten point two, then point three, which is the center. Please don't change it so that you know Uguti before the, the the center line I've got three lines and after the center line I've got three lines again which means if if this point of yours let me repeat that if this point of yours are incorrect automatically your development is going to be incorrect if the line of penetration is incorrect automatically your development is going to be incorrect whether you are developing the cone or you are developing the the the, the, the cylindrical pipe you understand it should be incorrect what can make the line of penetration to be correct is the correct is what you did here supposed to be correct colliding what with what you you did here so if you have messed up automatically the line of penetration is out of order that will affect your what your development you understand so let's go we've just gotten the center place your compass at your apex point further extend it till the throw it as center draw it as a center Remember, how do you draw a center line? Long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot. That's how we draw a center. We've just gotten point three. Let's go to point four, which is this one. You also take it horizontal till to the outer line. Like this. So now you place your compass at your apex plane, further ex extend it to point four. Like this. Draw it faint. There you go. You understand then point five which is this one then from the apex point faint like this you go the last point which is point six faint to the outer point then from the apex point Like this, you go faint. Right. So come back to your XX. <clears throat> so if you are given an XX like this, without fear or favor in your development, you must know what which means yeah. Because this X is here, this one is here. Again, which means this part it will be here, it should it will be there. If it's you must know Uti without fear or favor from here till here I must have a solid line or a dark line. Again from here till here I must have a solid line or a dark line. Let me draw it. Remember what you are drawing we don't know but let it come out for itself. Again here dark. Right? Come back to the bottom part of your art of your friend view. If from here till here we are having a straight solid line, which means in, in, in which means here yeah, you must have a, what from zero that goes that goes a solid straight line. Okay. Those are the points that you must rely on. Those are the points that you must rely on. Let me repeat that. If the bottom part of your cone it's a straight because in some other uh, 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 drawings you find that here is not straight here maybe something like this so you must know what even in some way here your de your development it won't be a, a, a dark throughout you understand but if it's dark from here till here actually from zero to six because remember this is you understand which if it's dark from here till here without fear or favor you must know what this line you have to draw it dark place by placing your compass here this line has to be drawn dark 
this one this one you understand so which means it's dark from here there it goes again from there till there from there till there you understand so let's go a point one must collide with point one point two must collide with point two how i've got a, a, a i've got a zero here there it goes from there let me put it very clear from here there it goes isn't it then from there goes like this goes like this goes like this you understand so a, a, a zero of this a, a remember this is what this is the cone isn't it on your top view and we are developing a cone so a one must collide with the one a two must collide with the two so there it goes so this is point zero which is still this one so i'm having a point here so a zero which is this one must collide with the zero from the top view from so this is the point of uh, this is the line of zero which means i'm having a point here this is the line of one and this is the line of one which means i'm having a point here this is two and this is the line of two this one i'm having a point where this is one i'm having a point here i'm having a point at three then let's go if uh, 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 i've got a uh, let's go to three remember three is what is the center which means i'm having a point there and a uh, four four is the first line above above what the center which means i've got a point here five there it goes with the what with the five six which is the center intersecting with what with six you understand you must plot them so seven is going to be in the same line with five going down eight in line with four you understand nine which is in line with three which is the center ten in line with two hey one then uh, eleven in line with one twelve in line with zero so you join them using you join them using a flex curve or freehand. Then here we go. Hey man. Then from there. Here you go. So that's how we are getting the development of the cone. That's how we've got the development of the cone so the the question didn't ask us to develop the what the cylindrical pipe the question didn't ask us to so that's how we you get it so thank you very much guys to watch please subscribe and like the video comment uh, criticize if you you are a criticizer you understand so uh, uh i'm joking so thank you very much guys to watch i've just had a great night with you uh thank you good night that was mr Nkosi. uh please keep on subscribing sharing the video i will upload this one again so we just did this one uh, figure three and we just did figure one now Let's do figure two. Let's do figure two. Let's do figure two. All right, thank you very much.